here. Before I share with you my August flip in my Fobonichi, I just wanted to share with you a really sweet message that I received. Now, I've received a lot of sweet messages from you all, but this one touched my heart and at the perfect time. And the reason for that is I was actually thinking of not sharing my flips in my Fobonichi journal anymore. And the reason for that was for a few reasons. One, I am so far behind on my flips. And the second is I do a lot of writing of my day. And the third reason is because a lot of the stuff I write in here is um, I'm a pretty positive person. And no matter what happens, I usually find the humor or I find the good in it. And I don't want I didn't want people to think that I think I have a perfect life because I don't. Nobody has a perfect life. I have problems just like everybody else. I have health issues just like everybody else. But I like to focus on the humor in something or the positive in something. It's funny because my husband had told my daughters before that my glass was full and his glass was empty because my husband's a very negative person. And the only reason he has anything in his glass is because I shared mine with him. I just thought that was so cute of him. The comment that I received that made me decide to keep sharing was from Stitching with a Smile. And what she wrote was, How your 10,000 steps and positive thoughts inspire me. After watching your videos, I think of all the good and happy things in my life while I take my walks. Thank you for the great outlook. It's rubbing off on me. Which, like I said, came at the perfect time because I was really wondering if I should share or not. I, didn't, I just didn't want to give the impression that I have the most perfect life because I don't I have a very I am very lucky in my life I am very blessed in my life but it's it's not perfect so that just shows how a positive comment or positive words can really make an impact on somebody so I just want to thank you again stitching with a smile for your, your sweet sweet comment when I was reading that back to my daughter I actually had a lump in my throat because it, it, it honestly touched me so much so I want to thank you for that sweet comment because that's helped me decide to keep doing my flips and I am really behind on sharing them so we are in August and August was a very busy month for us because that's when my daughter got married so it's all the prep for that so here is my August um, calendar and here is my 10,000 steps or more a day and I got them in and this is her wedding I danced all night long I didn't have my Fitbit on for the fact that it would have clashed with the outfit so I didn't wear it but I had to have had more than 30,000 steps because I did not sit down even with my heels I wore my heels the whole time and then 10,000 steps the rest of the time I missed look at 20,000 steps here and then I missed this day for doing my 10,000 steps but I was away and I'll explain that when we get to it and then my one can of coke I had two here and I was away so this is the start of my demise on my um, drinking my pop I I fell off the wagon big time and then to read one book a month I read the girl on the train and this was one of the book clubs for the Fobonichi journalers um, book club site on Facebook and then here is a layout and I did um, I did more than three layouts because I was away my girlfriend and I every year we go away and uh, we just craft all the time and that's what we did so I did a lot of layouts that day didn't send any happy mail didn't organize that I know of I was a little busy and um, outing with a friend well I was with her for almost this whole week so I'm really good really happy with my except for the pop but I'm happy with everything else and then August 1st, we were up at camp. That was a long weekend, and it was my brother-in-law's birthday. So that's why I have all the cupcakes there. And it rained practically. It was cold or raining that whole weekend. So actually, it was kind of fun because um, my sister-in-law and I stayed inside and made pocket letters. And I just realized I didn't write that I did anything. Well, I didn't write any creative. Well, I, yeah, I did a layout. That's probably why I didn't do layouts. That should just be something creative. So yeah, we crafted the whole weekend, and then this is the Sunday. I did get a couple week. Uh, I did get a couple walks in that day, in between the rain, and oh yeah, and then I noticed some wolf tracks on the trail. And my husband, he went before me, and he tried to cover them up because he thought I'd be scared to go for a walk. Mind you, he follows me in his on his um, RZR, 
So no animal would, that's so loud, no animal would come around. But I'm, I was raised in the country, so I don't know either that or I'm just dippy because I'm not scared of wild animals. But these wolf tracks, no lie, they were like this big. They, it was a big wolf. I didn't get to see it, but I saw the tracks. And, oh, that's about it. Just more um, up at camp. And this is the day that we went home. Again, it was cold. I remember I said here that I put on two jackets when we were sitting outside. It was so cold. But Wayne and I did go for another quad ride before we went home. And then on this day, on the 4th, my daughter passed her driving test. I was so proud of her. Now she can drive all by herself. She still has one more test here. I think I explained this before that there's three driving tests you have to take in Ontario. You have to take your written test, which then you can drive, but you have to drive with um, somebody with at least five years driving experience. And then you take your second test, which is an actual road test, and you drive in the city. And once you pass that, you can drive all by yourself. And then the third test, you have to drive in the city, and then you have to drive on the highway as well. So she passed her test, so I was really proud of her. And then we took her for ice cream. That's, that's a treat in the family. Whenever something goes good, I always treat you for ice cream or the end of the school year or something. It's always ice cream. I don't know why we do that, but we do. This was just a lot of prepping, it looks like, for the wedding. I think I was making her guest book here. And then Ashley, my... Um, at the girls, Heather and Christy, went over to Ashley's house to help her with them. And yep, I completed the guest book that day. And then this just said, it, this was a hectic day. Um, what did we have to do? Oh, I was making some wood things for Ashley. And my cell phone kept, the battery kept dying for some reason. So I'd take a picture and then it would die. So I'd have to, because I was talking to Ashley and showing her things I was going to get. And I have to go back into the Jeep because I had a plug-in, charge it up a bit, then go back into the store, um, send her another text. I'd have to go back in the Jeep and, and, and recharge it. I don't know why. I think when it... I'm not sure why it does that, but... Uh, yeah, and then I ordered the wine for the wedding. So yeah, that was just a busy wedding prep day. And then the 7th... Seven more days until the wedding. Um, what did I do? Oh, I was making these wooden chandeliers for the wedding. Um, and then we were putting flowers around them. So I was getting the material for those. And I completed them that same day. It, it looked like a lot of work, but it wasn't. Once I had my pieces cut, the wood pieces cut, I'm going to have to show more pictures. Like, uh, maybe I'll show you. I'm working on an album for her. Maybe I'll show little bits of the album because I'll have the pictures in. Because I don't have this stuff. And actually, um, Ashley sold all the chandeliers on Kijiji, I guess it was. So, they're, they're, I can't even show them to you because they're gone. Unless I, have, I do have pictures. I took pictures of everything. And then we went to camp. Wayne, I think, got off early. I'm not sure about that. But we went to camp Friday. And then Saturday, we were at camp and we got to pick blueberries. And I find picking blueberries just so relaxing. Because I'm just... I'm always in my own head, but I mean, it's just um, I, just a task that you, it's tedious. Not tedious, but it's just a task that, you know, you clean all the bushes off clean. And as I'm there, I'm thinking about 150,000 things because that's what, that's what we do as women. We Our brains are always going. And then we went for a quad ride and I saw, it was, it was really weird because um, we were going through this, one of my favorite trails. And I just thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if, if I saw a bear? And no sooner did I think of that, and I saw a little bear run up the hill, up the hill. I thought it was so neat that I thought of it, and it came true. And it's funny, because when, I was, when we were younger, like when I was um, a young kid in the country, and my friends and I would go for a walk, and we always said, if you talked about a bear, or if, um, yeah, if you talked about it or mentioned a bear, a bear would come to get us. And that was our, we never talked about a bear when we went for a walk because we were scared it was going to come true. And I thought of it and the bear came. So how, how cool was that? Um, what else? That's about it for that day, Sunday. What were we doing? Oh, Wayne was making, up at camp, Wayne was working on a cover for our water pump. So... I think that's about it. Oh, I went to go and pick some more berries that day. And then I just wrote, because of the wedding was, is the weekend coming up that we weren't going to go to camp. Then Monday, we're at home. 
And what did we do here? Oh, I made a blueberry pie because my family tells me that I hoard our blueberries and I kind of do, I guess. I'm a saver. I, I, I don't know why I save them. I put them in the freezer and I save them. And so I said to my husband, okay, what do you want? If you can have anything with blueberries in it, what do you want? And he said, a fresh blueberry pie. So when we got home, I made him a fresh blueberry pie. And I think the next weekend, I asked my daughters what they wanted, and they wanted a blueberry cheesecake. So I made them one of those the next weekend. And then here, oh, we were making the archway for where Ashley and Tyler were going to get married. Because they were having an outdoor wedding. And I, was, I have these old milk buckets. And it's funny, they were red, and I told my daughter on the weekend, just paint them white. And she's like, really? Mom, you love them red. I go, just paint them white. You know, it's just paint, can paint over. So on the weekend, they painted them white. And then she told me that the bottoms were kind of rusted out. And I'm like, well, we're going to have to put, like, rocks and that in there to keep the poles up. So I found an old soap plastic bucket that fit inside of there and it worked and obviously I don't move them move the melt cans at all if if they were rusted and I had no idea about it and then this day I went and I got my hair trimmed and I got I think I got coloring done that day too and I remember sitting there going I'm wasting time at the hair salon there's stuff I have to do for the wedding I just remember I felt so kind of stressed like oh I'm just wasting time and I even told the hairdresser that and she goes no you have to take time for yourself I go but I have so many projects that I can do be doing right now and then this was cookie day Ashley made a cookie bar for her wedding so she made I don't know how many I think she made like 400 cookies I could be wrong she made 400 and then all the bridesmaids made I think 100 and then her maid of honor made a couple hundred I too or, or I can't remember there was so many cookies left over we had big containers of cookies left so um, we were encouraging people take the cookies home take the cookies home at the wedding so yeah that was that and then um, Heather and I because my daughter wanted all the girls to have braids some type of braid in their hair they didn't care she didn't care what kind so Heather and I were um, just experimenting with her hair to see what kind of braids she wanted and then I worked on two wedding projects to that day, and I was playing with the the faux. No, I wasn't. That's not photography, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like my regular <laughs> writing. And then I just added some color in it. And as you can see, I used a lot of stickers because I'm trying to use up my stickers. So I went through. And I used up, this is a stamp, but these are all stickers that I used up. More stickers, more stickers. So I'm trying to use my old, old stickers. And these ones are really old. So what else did we have to do? I covered a clipboard because Ashley wanted to have the guests' names on this wooden piece, which I made. But then she wanted them also, if they couldn't find them, to ask somebody. And so there was a clipboard. And it was just a paint, plain brown clipboard. And she's like, oh, that's good. I go, no, it's not. We can make that prettier. And she goes, Mom, you're just making more more jobs for you. Because um, she has had a list. She had a very long list of things she wanted done. But I says, well, that's fine. This has to be prettied up. So we added some really pretty paper on it, on the front and the back of it. So we did that day, I did that, and what else did we do? Oh yes, I was going to make her a veil, and I started making her because she wanted like a, a nine foot veil or something like that, and I started making the veil, I had the veil cut out, I had it all put together, we just needed to put lace around it, and when we were driving to the fabric store to pick out the lace, my daughter said, Mom, is the veil white? And I go, yeah, of course it's white. And she says, yeah, my dress is a soft white. And I says, well, it might not make a difference because it was a like a one, maybe a two-layer veil. So I said, maybe it won't make a difference, the color difference of it. And then we went to go and get some lace, and um, we asked for a sample so we didn't have to buy all this lace just in case it didn't work. So they cut us off a sample, and we brought it back, and yeah, it was so different. You would think, well, you know as crafters, there's 15,000 different colors of white, but I really didn't think the soft white, because it looked pure white, it looked really white, but against the pure white of the veil. So we had to veto the veil, which she was fine with. That just would have been something something fun for her to wear. 
And what happened this day? Okay, this is the day before the wedding. So this was, everybody was at the venue decorating, propping everything up, putting up the, the little fairy lights or I forget if that's the name of them, but the little tiny lights anyway. So we were draping those on the beams and setting up the tables and the linen. And yeah, everybody, everybody helped out. And then my brother David, he, he lives in another province over. They came and they actually wanted to see where the wedding was because it wasn't in town. It was a little, a little bit out of town. And he just wanted to make sure that um, he'd be able to find it easily. So when they came with their two little boys, the boys went on the playgrounds playing. And then my brother, I, I got him to help us. And <laughs> He says, yeah, I'll help, just nothing too feminine. I'm like, feminine. And I'm like, that's fine. Here, come and help me put up these pink streamers. And he just, okay, he helped me out anyway. But I just thought that was funny. And then I was just writing about my middle daughter, Heather. She, um, she is very shy to the fact that um, she has anxieties. But she blossomed. I was so proud of her. She was talking to people. She was helping everybody. She was just like, anybody who's seen her was just mesmerized with her because usually she's quiet. She doesn't say anything. And if you ask her a question, she doesn't um, always want to answer. And I know she's older. She's an adult, but still anxiety is anxiety, right? And um, yeah, I was just so blown away and so proud of her. And it just shows that when you take yourself and um, she was doing it for her sister. So I think that's probably what helped is because she was doing it for her sister and not something it wasn't totally focused on her, even though it was. And this here, this is the wedding day. So yeah, I didn't wear my, um, I said steps, didn't wear my Fitbit and danced all night. So it was the hottest day, I swear, of the year. It was 31, but it felt like well, it said it felt like 40, but I, there was no shade. It was so hot. But it's so nice that um, her wedding was a laid-back wedding, so it wasn't so rigid. So we left the doors open, and people can go outside and if they wanted to or stay inside and just mingle. It was, it was a beautiful wedding, and it was so relaxed. And even after the wedding, everybody was saying how... Um, how informal not so much informal but how relaxing it was and how it was so nice that um it wasn't uh you know you had to sit there the whole time and this i wrote a little bit about what happened that day and how much i have a blessed life and um i couldn't imagine this well i'll read this here Ashley and Tyler's wedding day, there is not enough room on this one page to describe the day and my emotions it was such a special day for us all to not only see Ashley get married to a wonderful man, but to see all three of my beautiful but to see all three of my beautiful daughters together sharing in this special day. I have wrote a detailed account of this day as I don't want to forget a second of it. I have such a blessed life. I could not have imagined this day any better than it was. So much love and happiness all in one room. Even though it was hot, we didn't get rain. So the ceremony was able to take place outside in front of the archway I put together. The reception was held inside. Our decorations were beautiful. I called it rustic pretty because it was like very woodsy and burlap. And then you had so many touches of pink and femininity to it. It was just beautiful. It was a casual wedding. So many guests were outside trying to catch a breeze. After the speeches and dinner, it was time to relax. I danced most of the night. It was a magical night. And here is my detailed day. Uh, here's my details of the day. Yeah. See, this would not have fit in the Fobonichi at all. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have much to say, did I? And then my daughter's like, Mom, could, could, could I have it? And I said, well, sure you can. But uh, yeah, oh, this isn't it. But the, all these other pages or all of the wedding. But I told her, just remember, it's my view of the wedding, not yours. So, and I did so good. Um, when my daughter, <clears throat> when my daughters were up there, I walked and I, my husband and I both walked down the aisle and I was so proud of myself. I didn't cry, 
but I think I had a little funny face because I was trying not to cry. And then um, my daughter, Ashley, the one that got married, she started crying during the vows. And I looked at my other daughters and even all my daughters were starting to tear up and then I kind of started crying. But I did sneak a tissue behind my my husband's uh, handkerchief. Handkerchief. I snuck a little um, uh, tissue back there. So I took that and I blotted my eyes. So I was so proud of myself that I didn't do the ugly cry. And then when they were doing their thank yous at the end, and um, she said, "And I want to give my mom. I want to give my mama bear a special thank you." I lost it. I I I lost it. I got into a little bit of the ugly, ugly cry and I kept telling myself, it's not about me, it's not about me, it's not about me. And then I, and then I controlled myself. And then I looked at my girlfriend and her daughter and they were both bawling too, so I didn't feel so bad. So, wow, that's a long, just on one day. And then here I just used some more um, stickers and this was the day after party and it was held at... Um, my son-in-law's parents' house, they have a beautiful home in the country, so that's where that was. Before we did that, we had to clean up the venue, and my daughter, Heather, my middle daughter, was helping with the table, and one of the tables fell on her nose, and it cut a bit, and her nose was bleeding, and I swear, it looked like she broke her nose, like we were freaking out. So I gave her some ice, made her sit in the Jeep, and she's like, but mom, there's so much to do. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Just sit in the Jeep and put the ice on it or you're gonna bruise. So she did that and I kept checking on her. I gave her my phone and she looked up a broken nose and how even if you go to the doctor, they can't really tell you if it's broken till a few days after or something like that. So we did go to the doctor a few days later and she said it wasn't broken, but uh, I just felt so bad for her. And yeah, so that was that. That was in the morning, and then the after party was at Tyler's parents, and my family from out of town came, and it was just wonderful. They they had um, dinner for us or a lunch. It was really nice. And then Sunday, my my dad and stepmom were still in town, so we invited them over for supper, and we just ordered Chinese food, and we in, invited my niece to come over. So here is my um my what's that called? This is my fortune. So here is my fortune. It says, keep a balance between your goals and your gentle nature. And then I have some numbers. So that was my fortune. Yeah, so we enjoyed some Chinese food. And Wayne and I had to go and get some groceries because I was going away with my girlfriend the next day. So... I had so after my family left, I had to pack, I had to wash my laundry and pack my clothes and pack my, my craft supplies because we were going for four days. So this was my time to relax. Wedding was over, even though I was still living it. The wedding was over, the prep was over. It was like, oh, I can relax. And this is where I drank all my pop <laughs> on those days. So, oh right, and Ashley and Tyler went for their honeymoon, so I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, and I am not a morning person at all. Like, if I could, I would wake up at 10 o'clock every morning. That would be nice and early for, like, that would be the perfect time to wake up for me. Yeah, so I had to wake up at 5.30 and drive them to the airport as they went to Washington State near Seattle for their honeymoon. They went to the treetop forests, I think it was called. And then I had to drive Christy to Ashley's house because she had to bring her things there as she was staying with the dog and the cat. And then I came home and I quickly did a post, a blog post, and scheduled them throughout the week because I think we were going, I don't think there was internet there. And do, 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 what else? We got an early check-in, was until four, but we go to the same place every year. So they let us in. She tries to clean that that cabin first so we can go in there early which is so nice of her so i think we were there at about one o'clock and we went for a walk and then this day we did a hike we did one of the hikes and of course we scrapbooked the whole time and then here is not a very good picture i had a lot better pictures but this is with um um insta instamax so it prints it out right away so i just used that one even though I'm not a morning person, I see that I woke up at 8.30. I guess it's a little different if something's happening and it's um, 
that's glaring if something is happening and I'm I'm excited about something I guess I'll wake up earlier like a trip I've said this before on a trip or um, a crop those are the only times I wake up early and happily wake up early we saw a deer in the yard that day and uh, we didn't go for a walk as it was raining because her and I we love our walks so we usually go for at least two or three walks and hikes as well so oh yeah and I wanted to I don't I don't drink I never have drank I just don't like the taste of it and um, I wanted Debbie to stay up late she's a morning person I'm a night person so I wanted her to stay up late so I kept giving her she had she brought vodka cooler so I kept giving her her vodka cooler to try and keep her up late I, I think it worked I can't even remember but look I completed 12 layouts and a smash book page that day okay and this hike was we went on a hike and it was 6.56 miles and it took us an hour and 46 minutes but I think was that oh yeah that was rough terrain I'll tell you I'm surprised that we didn't trip over the a lot of the stuff because I don't think people maintain those trails anymore and here we had to check out so Wayne and I went for camp groceries because we went to camp the next day see how my August was like boom 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 busy 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 and so what happened oh this Friday in the daytime I invited my friends over because I wanted to I, you, you know once you go to a crop or you start scrapbooking you just you you have the momentum to keep going so I invited my friends Sharon and Lynn over and uh, they them and I we scrapbooked most of the day oh yeah I brought them for scrapbooking and then I says hey let's go see Christy because yeah you know what I never did see Christy so I said let's go visit Christy at work and Christy works at Menchie's so we all had some frozen yogurt and went a little shopping I see we went to Michael's <laughs> And then when we and I went to camp, I picked some blueberries and went for some quad rides. And then at camp, it was beautiful. It was like 20 and the sun was poking in between the clouds. Yeah, I think we just went for some quad rides, picked some blueberries, visited some people at the cottage. So this average Saturday. And then Sunday, it was... Fear the Walking Dead. Now you know I love my zombies and I love The Walking Dead and I love any zombie movies. I've watched them all ever since Wayne and I were dating. And Fear the Walking Dead started. And I was excited for it because The Walking Dead wasn't on for so long. I just, I needed something. So this, this, this is supposed to be before the, the, the um, apocalypse, the zombie apocalypse. So this is the the starting of it so it was pretty good slow moving but you know it was pretty good oh we were gonna hydro had to turn off the power so we stayed we went home earlier that day monday are we almost done this seems like a really long video well, ashley and tyler were back from their honeymoon uh i went over there to visit them and Heather, Heather, Ashley, and I, Christy was over at her boyfriend, so Heather, Ashley, and I were going to go for a walk, but it started to rain, so we just stayed back, and then Tyler went and picked us up some Burger King for supper, so that was good. We just talked about their honeymoon. I guess, I guess all this excitement finally drained me because I said that I fell asleep sitting up in the chair <laughs> or in, up on the couch. August the 25th. Then I guess I started doing some of the, the journal prompts from the Fobonichi Journaler site on Facebook. And it's, what is my favorite movie? And I just said, I honestly can't say I have a favorite movie. I'm an avid movie viewer and fan. I love all types of movies and watch many over and over again. We have passed on our love for movies to our daughters. We always quote lines from movies into our everyday lives. I think many confuse, I think we may confuse some when we do this. Because sometimes the girls will say something, I'm like, yeah, Grandpa doesn't understand that. He's probably never watched that movie. And I just wrote onto my day and what I did. Same old, same old by this. Just enjoying a typical day. The stress of the wedding was gone. Even though I didn't feel stressed about it. But uh, when it was over and done with, it was like, ah, you know, kind of like you can breathe now. This is the day we went to go and see about Heather's nose. And yeah, it was fine went to Ashley's house and her and I we went for a walk she has really nice trails around her house right, right along the river so I like to walk walk there and it's a paved path which is always nice 
on the 27th Oh, on the 27th, Ashley's dog had to go get her shots. And at first, they didn't think they'd be able to take her, take him because they both work. And I said, oh, that's no biggie. I'll, I'll take him. And, and Ashley's like, really? Are you really? And I'm like, yeah, I got nothing else to do. I'll take him. But as it turned out, Ashley did get some time off work. And yeah, she, her and I went and brought her dog to get his shots. And you wouldn't even have known it. He was so good. Oh, yeah. I was going to work on the, the wedding album. I'm just doing it in a regular photo album format and I was going to go and just quickly get them done before Wayne and I headed out to camp but I had over 400 photos so that's not something that can get done quickly and actually I think I ended up with way more way way more than that and then my sister came over to pick something up my girls came up all except for Heather they came up that weekend so my girls came up that this weekend with their boyfriends and husband and uh, Wayne and I went and did a morning trip to Ignis to get more, I think, propane or something. And then we were going to go and have breakfast. I was so excited. Oh, we're going to have breakfast at the restaurant. We get there. The restaurant's closed for renovations. So we just, they had like a, a Robin's Donuts, but it wasn't really a Robin's Donuts. But it was kind of like that. So we just got one of those, those sandwich breakfasts or whatever. And I got some of my... Um, my cream horn pastries that I love so much or French horns or they're called so many different things but no matter what they're called they're delicious so and then Ashley brought um Ashley and Tyler brought their dog who loved it out there of course lots of stuff to see and he went on a whole bunch of walks with us and he just didn't want to walk he wanted to run that guy he was he was really good and then Sunday Ashley and I just did a walk before her and they went home and she took all the kids back home with her. All the kids. <laughs> They're all adults. Who am I kidding? And then Wayne and I had to change some fascia boards on the garage. So I painted those. I wanted them a different color. So we didn't leave till about 4 o'clock, I think. Yeah. And then came home and watched Fear the Walking Dead again. And the last day of the month... What's this? Oh, right. I did, sometimes this happens when I do a lot of walking, and I was doing a lot of walking at camp. My one, my big toe kind of gets sore where the nail is. It's not ingrown or anything, but um, it was really sore. So I decided to go to the doctor, and it takes me a bit to go to the doctor, because I like to, I don't like really seeing doctors. <laughs> so it takes me a bit. Well, as it turned out, um, my toe was infected, so I needed some medication for that, so... That is it. I know that was like a super huge long video, wasn't it? So that's it. I was going to put some some pretty scrapbooking paper on this page. I never got around to doing it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. We'll see. But that was the end of my August flip. And wasn't that a long one? So thank you everybody for watching me. And thank you everybody for your sweet, sweet comments. It really They really do touch my heart. And I get back to every one of you if I can some for some reason I can't reply to because it doesn't have a reply button and I try to watch your videos if you take the time out to watch my videos I take the time out to watch your videos I might not do it right away but I do like to watch if you have a new video and you watch one of mine I usually go back and watch one of yours so thank you again everybody for watching and I hope you all had a very creative day today bye now